Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's your boy Ian back at you with another video. Woo! Alright, today we're gonna go over how to cook ribs Ericsson style. So I got here, I got all my ingredients. Let's take a look at what we got going on over here. Huh? Alright, of course, we have the ribs here. We're gonna be making four. We got some seasonings. This is all some good stuff. What is this? Famous Dave. Brown sugar bourbon, applewood rub. All this rub is good for ribs. Over here we got... Wait, what is this? Jello? Pure... Okay, this isn't right. I don't know why this is even out here. Okay, we got mustard for making the stuff stick to the ribs. Uh, we got beer. That's important for drinking while you're making ribs. This is only in Wisconsin. Spotted cow. My favorite, personal favorite. We have this Anchor Soundcore speaker, which is completely necessary. So you can listen to some jamming tunes. I recommend heavy metal, but that's my personal preference. And we're also gonna need some aluminum foil. All right, so that's what we got here. This only covers for putting the rub on the ribs and then kind of marinating it overnight and then tomorrow we're actually gonna cook it and then we need more stuff you need apple juice honey uh, brown sugar and then barbecue sauce if you want it so anyways that's what that's where we're at so let's dive right in how do we do this so the first thing you want to do you gotta open up the ribs and you gotta take off the membrane what does that look like you might ask I will show you all right so you want to get out your rib here you gotta get a knife, cut open the pack. Here we got the rib. This is the meat side. We don't need to do anything with this side. This is what we're looking at here. You see this? That's the membrane. You gotta peel that off. It's like a screen protector for your meat. Once you get it going, it should just come right off. It's like unwrapping a Christmas present. All right, there we got them. One, two, three, four. Four racks of ribs. Beautiful. I like to season this side first. I think now seems like a good time for a beer break. Spotted cow, only in Wisconsin. Spotted cow, the best a man can get. All right, let's get back to seasoning this stuff. All right, next step, you take this mustard. You put it like that, you're gonna smear it around. The mustard is the secret ingredient. You look at ribs, you say, why are you putting mustard on ribs? It's so the, the rub sticks to it. It's really kind of funny, you don't even taste the mustard. Let's slather these bad boys up. You gotta spread it around. So that the uh, rub will stick to the whole rib. All right, next the seasoning. Let's let's go with famous Dave rib rub. Apply a generous amount and then rub it on. And see, that's why the mustard sticks to it. It helps this stuff stick to the rib. That's what gives it the flavor. We'll try some of this. What is this? Applewood rub. That looks pretty good. You wanna make sure it's got seasoning on pretty much the whole thing. All right, let's do the next two. We'll do some more famous, Dave. World famous ribs, just like Paula Deen used to make. Whatever happened to her anyways? It's like Paula Deen, but without the mayonnaise. Didn't she like say the N word and get banned from like all the food networks or something? Mayonnaise on everything. She's the mayonnaise lady. Just put mayonnaise on it. It's gonna be great. All right, both of these look good. So we're gonna flip them and then do the same thing to the opposite side. Get some of this yellow stuff, squirt it, rub it around, and then put seasoning on this side. It's cooking with Ian. Gently massage it into the meat. All right, let's see what we got so far. So far, we have opened the packages, 
we peeled off the membranes, we put the mustard on both sides, and we seasoned both sides. So let's look at what we got now. Look at those meats. Meats for days. Mmm! It's delicious! Alright, the last step for the overnight prep, you gotta put these bad boys in some aluminum foil. Beer break! I'm going to do three big sheets of aluminum foil per rib. So here's aluminum foil. The important thing for this, you got to make sure the bones on the rib does not poke through the foil. Be very gentle. Okay, here's one. And then this one. A nice little package. And tomorrow when these are cooking, we're going to be opening them up out of the smoker. So you want to kind of make sure that it's able to be opened up easily. And there we have it. One, two, three, and four. They're all wrapped. Right there. That's it for today. Let's catch some sleep. And I will see you guys in the morning. Alright guys, it is now day two in our amazing fun and exciting adventure cooking ribs so let's get started all right here's what you want to do all right you can see i got my smoker here this bad boy can cook eight racks of ribs at a time it's amazing electric it's got bluetooth on it you want to set this i set mine 225 degrees for six hours that's how long it's going to take to cook these things it takes it takes like maybe 15 or 20 minutes to warm up so that's what we're gonna do. So right now it's warming up. So I'm gonna show you my setup here. I got a little table and then my smoker right here. And usually I use the table here for like prepping, that kind of stuff, setting up the ribs, all that kind of stuff. So as soon as this gets up to temperature, what is it at right now? 111. So once it gets up to 225, which is what I set it at, then I'm gonna throw the ribs in there. So right now we're playing the waiting game. All right, we got our smoker up to temperature now. You see I brought out the ribs here and the smoker is at 230 degrees, right around where we want. We're gonna stick all four of them in there. And for the first two hours, you just wanna leave this foil like the top open. All right, they're all in there now. I think it's time to add a little bit of smoke. So since the foil's open on those, the smoke can get in. So we're gonna add some wood chips. To start off with, I'm gonna add some apple wood. You can use hickory, mesquite, apple wood, whatever you want. I just happen to have apple wood right now, so that's what I'm gonna use. Here we go, apple wood. We should start seeing the smoke pretty soon. I'm going to open up the top just a little bit to let some of the smoke out. You want to be careful when you're opening this door up. You don't want to open the door up too much because the temperature could drop. You can see we're down, we're down to 196 now because I kept opening it up to put all the, the meat and everything in. I'm just barely starting to see the smoke coming. There it is. The smoke is slowly coming up. I can see this whole thing is starting to fill up with smoke now. That's good. The smoke. It's going to give it a nice apple, apple wood flavor. I'm going to let this sit for a while. I'll probably come back and add some more wood chips a little bit later. But this, this step takes about two hours. Just, just add wood chips, smoke it, start to cook it and all that stuff. So we'll come back in a little bit, check on it. Right now is a good time for a beer break like we had yesterday. All right, it's been about an hour now. Coming out to check. Temperature holding steady. 226 we're gonna add some more wood chips what do we got this time jack daniel whiskey barrel let's do it all right just put them in let's see let's examine the smoke i'm right over here come on let's look at it together anyway looks like they're doing good so we'll check on it in another hour all right guys it's just about time to put some secret sauce on the ribs so i'm going to show you what the secret sauce is we got apple juice we got honey 
and we got brown sugar. Oh, there you go, brown sugar. You put equal amounts of each, and we're gonna mix it up and heat it in the microwave a little bit. Let's check it out. I'm just guessing the amounts. You wanna put equal amounts of each. A one to one to one mixture. Put some honey, and then put some brown sugar. You want some equal amount of brown sugar. I don't really know if this is equal amount or not, but it's close enough. I'm gonna heat this in the microwave. 30 seconds to a minute should do it. You want it to be warm. Not, not boiling, but warm. Let's see how it is. All right, feels warm to me. We're gonna take this secret sauce and go outside. Let's go. All right, here's where we're at. 320, so it's been two and a half hours so far. Uh, normally you're supposed to do this at the two hour mark, but it's two and a half hours. Uh, but that's all right. It's not a big deal. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We gotta take the ribs out from here. I'm gonna put it on my table here, distribute the sauce, and then close up the foil and put it back in. So I gotta do that to all four of them. All right, here's the first one. Let's see, let's see how it looks. Wow, that looks amazing already. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some of this secret sauce on there. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pour it on. I'm just gonna pour some of it on because you want to have a decent amount. That's good. All right, now we cover this up and we're gonna stick it back in. Now this time you wanna kinda cover and fold the foil over a little bit to try to seal. You wanna fold the foil over and seal everything in. It's gonna kinda boil in these, in the sweet juices for the next couple hours. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's stick it back in and do it for the other three. All right, that is it. Two more hours like this. So I'm gonna put some smoke in and then we cook them for two more hours. Let's do it. All right, it's been another couple hours. You see there's a, it's still 225. There's about two hours left on this thing. I'm actually just only gonna do it for like five hours. I realize, I think, I think five hours was the time and I put it for six, it's been a while. Whatever, do it for five hours. So it's two hours with the foil open, then you put on the juice, two hours with the foil closed, and now we need to open up the foil again, let it breathe for the last hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and open up all of the foil again. All right, that's all there is to it. You open them back up. Now all the foils open on these. I'll put some more smoke, one more hour, and then we're taking them out. Time's up. Check it out. It says 38 minutes left. I don't know if you guys can smell this or not, but this smells delicious. Mmm. Ribs. All right, let's take it out. Should be done. I'm going to take them right out of here. All right, and that is it. Take a look at this. This is the money shot right here. This is what we've been this is what we've been waiting for since yesterday. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. Four racks of ribs. One, two, three, and four. Alright, we're gonna take these inside and take a look at them. See how good we did. Alright, here's what we got. Four racks of ribs. Bam! You always gotta try it first. Look at this. The meat just comes right off the bone. That's what I'm talking about. You gotta try it. That's some good ribs. They don't even need sauce. All right, so that's what's up. Ribs are done. They taste amazing. That's how we do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I catch you guys on the next one. Peace.